Hey everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome to my videos for basic maths. The focus for this video is telling the time. Okay, so what am I going to teach you? So I'm going to teach you how to use the 12 hour clock and the 24 hour clock, also known as military time. Okay, so measuring time. So these are a few key things that you should know in relation to in relation to time and I suggest that you write these on a blank piece of paper and try to remember as many of these as you can so 52 weeks in a year 28 to 31 days in a month 365 days in one year 12 months in a year and so forth okay so remember as many of these as you can so how to say different times so quarter past is if the uh, hand is pointing at the three Half past is the six and quarter to is the nine. So 12 hour clock. So time is a way of measuring how long it takes to do something or to work out how, lo how long something lasts for. So the day is split into two halves. So we've got a.m. and p.m. So a.m. is the morning. So it runs from 12 midnight to 12 noon. And the p.m. is afternoon and evening. So it runs from 12 noon to 12 midnight. So if you were asked to write down 7 o'clock in the morning, this would usually be written as 7 a.m. If you were asked to write down 7 o'clock in the evening, this will be written as 7 p.m. or 1900. Okay, so this is military time and I'll give you some more information on this a bit later. So note there is an a.m. and a p.m. for every time of the day. So make sure you know which one to use, okay? So the 24 hour clock, so as shown here, this is a really great example for you to get your head around the 24 hour clock. So to change AM, PM to the 24 hour clock, you need to add 12, okay? So if you've got 2 AM, if you add 12 to it, you will get 1400 hours. So 1400 hours is the equ equivalent to 2 o'clock, okay? So if it was 4 o'clock in the morning, you could write this as follows, so 04.00. However, if it was 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you could use military time to say it was 1600 hours, okay, because you've added the 12 to the 4, okay? Okay, so hopefully now you have a bit more of an understanding about telling the time. For more practice questions, we have a fantastic guide and offer and can be purchased by clicking on the book cover as shown now. Don't forget to like and comment on the video and if you do have any other math videos you would like me to do, leave me your suggestion and I'll add it to my to-do list for you. For more videos, click on the click here button. And finally, hover over the coloured rectangle boxes to be directed straight to one of my other math videos. That's it from me. Stay updated with more of my upcoming videos. And I wish you the very best of luck in all your assessments.